Hip-hop music sometimes gets a bad name as somehow being angry or unfriendly. But as Alfie found out, nothing could be further from the truth in the world of hip-hop dance. He checked out the South Australian Hip-Hop Championships, also known as Battlegrounds. And while the name might sound a bit fierce, it was all friendly competition on the night. In this arena, it's survival of the hippest. I hope my team is good and I hope we have a great time of doing the battle. While the vibe is friendly, the competition is fierce. And winning means thinking on your feet, literally. The comp goes like this. The DJ will spin a track, but no one knows which song's coming next. Then the competitors dance off against each other, using their best freestyle moves. Each turn goes for less than a minute. And judges pick out a handful to go through to the one-on-one -on -one battle. Very great. Old school got through, made it through. I think LLH got one of the biggest crowd cheers. So that's pretty awesome. Now they did really well. We're really proud of it. Spencer, who's 13, got pretty far in the one-on-one -on -one battles, just missing out on the finals. Believe it or not, he's only been breakdancing for a year, but on some days he'll be practicing for two hours. Of course I'm a b-boy. I like doing uh, lots of power moves and stuff, so you see all these spinning moves and all these strength moves. So how did you get into dancing? I've seen a lot of the old um, breakdance movies, you know, like Step Up, Street Dance, and you know, it just kind of got me into it. Yeah, I want to become a professional dancer one day. Hopefully the kids will end up like these guys, the older battle contestants. Amelia and her friend were the only girls to take part in the battle rounds. So today um, we decided, you know what, we're going to get out there and show that us girls can hit the moves and can freestyle just as well as the guys. Aside from the battle rounds, there are team events which are performed to choreographed dance moves. These are the pure funk groundbreakers. Uh, we got third place in the open division. Um, yeah, it's just awesome. It's a great, great outcome. That means we qualify for World Supremacy Battlegrounds which is the international hip-hop competition in Sydney in November, so that's really exciting for us. Here are some of the other teams fighting for glory. In the end, Team Break and Enter came fifth in the juniors with this routine. They also took home the award for Most Stylish Group. And the winner of the main battle rounds was Desh, who does a specialty style called Popping, which evolved from the robot style. And Joshua Del Santo, a finalist, won the award for Most Popular Dancer. Also surprisingly popular were the dads who got roped into jumping on stage. To these guys, hip hop is all about having fun and putting on a show. Whether you see it as an expression of art or as a competitive sport. The most definitely a form of sport. I mean, you put, you exert so much energy, your, um, your extensions, you know, you're using your legs a lot, you're using your upper body. So yeah, I mean, it's very acrobatic. I, I want to take it like very far. Like I want to, I want to become like what my instructors do. I want to teach little kids, and I also want to perform as well. It's fair to say these guys are some of the big movers and shakers of the future. Come on.